Today I'm going to be showing you the three different barrels from Beach Waver. We have the S1.25, we have the S1, and we have the S.75. So you'll be able to compare the different curl sizes side by side. Okay, just a disclaimer, I'm a beginner at curling my hair. <laughs> um, I think I've tried since I was really little and I've just miserably failed with regular curling irons, even the ones that roll and clip in your hair. Just the thought of curling my hair was ooh, horrific. Until I got the beach waver and I'm not even kidding you. I was even like, yeah, right, this isn't gonna work. But guess what? I actually curl my hair now. So take it from me. This is the best beginner curling iron. Here we have the catwalk collection by the Beach Waver in these super cute cylinder containers that are recyclable, made with less packaging so they're eco-friendly. Get ready for your gorgeous mane. <laughs> and they are women owned. We love that. So excited to show you guys these curling irons. Here are the accessories from the catwalk collection. I'm obsessed with this print and it's so adorable. My favorite scrunchie in the world. It is ginormous. Like that is it on my wrist. I have the headscarf, really soft material. You can tie it around your hair. Um, you can make a bow around a ponytail. You can braid it in. Then we have the curling iron travel case. Um, I use this every day because sometimes I'm so lazy to wait for my curling iron to cool down that I'll just shove it in this and put it away. So when you're not using it, you can either keep it straight like this or you can fold it in half. Makes a little sandwich, really convenient. There's a Velcro pouch that you can stuff your curling iron in there while it's super hot and flip it around. And you can put the cord between these two Velcro straps or if you want, you can even stuff it in the mesh bag. The mesh bag can also be useful for putting like a comb or like a hairbrush. All right, so I'm gonna show you how it works with the S1.25. So to power it on, you're gonna press the power button and it takes literally less than 30 seconds to heat up. To adjust the temperature, there is the plus and the minus. Um, I usually just use 350 on my hair. Up here is the home button and then the two arrows and we have the clamp. So you'll clamp your hair in, you'll spin it, and then if you wanna go back, instead of figuring out how to go back, you'll just hit home. There is a fast and slow. If you want it to spin fast, it's gonna go like that. And if you want it to go slower. I'm going to start curling some of my hair with the S1.25 at 300. 300 at 50 degrees. So I've already put my heat protectant in. I washed my hair yesterday and just let it air dry. Um, this is what it looks like. My little pink clips. This is a Cinderella hairbrush from the children's section. But I love Cinderella, so why not? All right, so I'm gonna start with a small section and then I'm gonna take my curling iron and clamp it in leaving a little bit of space. Now this is where I always mess up with normal curling irons, but I know just press the button that's furthest away from me. Every time it gets me, that's insane. All right, I'm gonna hold it just for like a little while. So how's it going, everybody? Good, nice. I'm gonna unclamp this now. All right, so then we're gonna unclamp it. And look at that curl. I could not make that on my own. So I'm gonna uncurl now with the S1, just so you can see the difference in curl size. So let's take a little bit of this. All right. I actually haven't used this one yet, so this should be fun. All right, and then curl away. All right, after like 10 seconds or so, I'm gonna unclamp it. Oh wow, yeah, that's like a traditional curl if I've ever seen one. So the two different curls, the first one obviously has more breathing space and the second one is a little more form fitting. All right. 
right, so I'm gonna take one last section just to show you. I'm gonna do a small section. Clamp it in and curl it away. And then we're going to release it. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so this is the S.75 curl, still kind of hot. This is the S1 curl, it's cooled off. And this is the S1.75. I'm gonna use my fingers to brush these through. All right, oh, I'm nervous. All right, we'll do the first one. Ooh, that is very pretty. Wow. Here's the second one. Has a little more shape to it. And then the last one. So the last one separated into two. So I just curled my whole head with the S 1.25. I'm gonna spray it down with my little bit of shaper and then we'll brush it through. I said a little bit, but I really use a lot. <laughs> so. Um, usually though, if I'm like going somewhere, and like I'll have like an hour drive because of LA traffic. I won't brush it out. And by the time I'm there, it's like fallen. Because I have very fine, thick hair. So it's an interesting combination. But it's really healthy too, so which is a great thing, but it doesn't hold the curl the best. Look how gorgeous. And I usually leave like up top. I don't curl all the way up just to keep it more of like the beachy, flowy versus like super curl hair. So I'm gonna brush this side out. But like seriously, hair flips are the best. Like, look how voluminous my hair is. But yes, if you're wondering if you should buy the Beach Waver, um, hello, have you been listening this whole time? Of course, get it. It seriously is so great. And this is not sponsored. This is literally me finding a hack. The best hair hack 